to welcome you to the 26th day in the month of November 2018. Shall we please pray? Father, I want to say thank you because you are the Almighty. Thank you for the miracle of sleeping. Thank you for the miracle of waking up. As we go into your word, please speak to us and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today we want to welcome you to the open heavens. And the topic for discussion today is the secrets of life. I take it again, the secrets of life. The memory verse for today can be found in Deuteronomy 29, verse 29, which says, The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the work, works of this law. Secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all that the words of this law. Deuteronomy 29, verse 29. Now the Bible passage is taken from Daniel chapter 2. We'll read from verse 25 to 28. Daniel chapter 2, from verse 25 to 28. The Bible says, Then Arioch brought in Daniel before the king in haste, and said thus unto him, I have found a man of the captives of Judah that will make known unto the king the interpretation. The king answered and said to Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, Are thou able to make known unto me the dream which I have seen and the interpretation thereof? Verse 27. Daniel answered in the presence of the king, and said, the secret which the king had demanded cannot the wise men, the astrologers, the magicians, the soothsayers show unto the king. But there is a God in heaven that reveals secrets and make it known to the king, the Bukadnezah, what shall be in the latter days. Thy dream and the visions of thy head upon thy bed are these. Now you can read the rest. And I pray the Almighty God will give us understanding. Now the topic again is the secrets of life. Reading from the devotional. Life is crowded with a lot of mystery. And the secrets of these mysteries are in the hands of the one who created the world. That is the almighty God. Many times, a lack of knowledge or understanding of these mysteries not only brings trouble 
to an individual, but also spells doom for his or her destiny. This is why some people desperately and foolishly go after fortune tellers, stargazers, and magicians who claim to have a third eye. However, you are a genuine child of God. If you are a genuine child of God, I congratulate you. Why? Because our Father in heaven is the custodian, take note of this, of all the mysteries and secrets of life. If you are a child of God, you don't need to go to magicians, you don't need to go to palm readers, you don't need to go to stargazers, you don't need to go to astrologers, because your Heavenly Father is the custodian of all the mysteries and secrets of life. In the Word of God, precisely Deuteronomy 29, verse 29, which we have read, the Bible says, The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. It is pleasant to read the words of the above scripture. However, you must not lose sight of the great responsibility contained in it. That is, so that we may do all the words of this law. Nothing goes for nothing. God will play his part. You must also play your own part. God reveals secrets and mysteries to us so that we can be in a vantage position to do his will. I pray that the Lord will give you the grace to do his will. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Matthew chapter 13 verse 10, the disciples of Jesus came to him and asked, Why are you speaking to the people in parables? Jesus answered them in Matthew chapter 13 verse 11, saying, Matthew 13 verse 11, saying, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them... It is not given. Are you a child of God? Are you connected to Jesus Christ? Then I congratulate you. Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of heaven. But to the unbelievers, it is a mystery. Before the end of today, God is going to reveal to you mysteries. He's going to open your eyes. And He will open your ears. And your life will never remain the same. In Jesus' mighty name. This truth accounts for the type of life the early disciples lived. They were able to turn their world over to God by preaching the mysteries of the gospel. Paul the Apostle, Peter, and all the other disciples, they were able to declare the counsel of God. They were able to declare the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ with wisdom, with power. I pray that the same thing will happen to you in Jesus' mighty name. Daniel and his colleagues in the passage that we read had access to the mysteries of heaven. So much so that they could reveal and interpret a dream that was forgotten by a king. Can you imagine? A king had a dream. He couldn't remember the dream. Then he asked his astrologers, his magicians, to interpret the dream for him. Those people could not do that. 
But for Daniel and his people, they went before the Almighty God. They were not part of the dream. They didn't know what the king dreamt about. But God revealed everything to them. They did not only tell him what he dreamt about. They were able to interpret the dream. The secret of life. It's in the hands of the Almighty God. I pray that He will reveal them to you in Jesus' mighty name. None of the best astrologers of their time could unfold these mysteries, even though they tried. Take note of the declaration made by these children of God in Daniel chapter 2, verse 28. But there is a God in heaven. I like that. There is a God in heaven that reveals secrets. And make it known the king to the king, the Bukhanesa, what shall be in the latter days. May I tell you, even as a today, there is a God in heaven that reveals secrets. I pray that you have access to that God today. And he will reveal secrets to you, even before the end of today. That's why I know you are not going to miss it today in Jesus name beloved if you want to have access to the secrets and mysteries of life God will always conceal his secrets and the mysteries of life from those who will make mockery or merchandise of them you want to hide it from those who want to make mockery and merchandise of these secrets. We have people today who want to reveal things from above to people and they go to wrong places. No wonder. They are just telling people what they want to hear. They are not telling the people the mind of God. But they are just trying to impress the people. Don't follow any of them. Because they will mislead you. In the name of Jesus, you will not be misled. Hallelujah. However, God reveals these secrets to those who are genuine in their relationship with Him. Those who are genuine in their relationship with God, God will reveal these secrets to them. This is due to Father Abraham. According to Genesis chapter 18, verse 17. Genesis 18, verse 17. The Almighty God was able to reveal His plan, His secret, what He wanted to go and do in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah to Father Abraham. Because He said, He knew Him. Does He know you? If God knows you, then he will be able to reveal secrets to you. A song is coming to my heart, and I love that song, and I know God is going to use it to help somebody. I know God, I know God, I know God, and God knows me. I know God, I know God, I know God, and God knows me. Do you know God? Does he know you? If you know him and, and you know him, then the secrets of life will be revealed unto you. And when the secrets of life are revealed to you, you will not be stranded in the journey of life. Today, you need to be connected with this God. I say, Randolph, I want us to look at a few things that we can learn from today's Open Heavens devotional. You need to understand, number one, that your destiny is not in the hands of fortune tellers. Your destiny is not in the hands of magicians. Your destiny is not in the hands of stargazers. Your destiny is in the hands of the Almighty God. And 
This same God can begin to reveal his plans concerning your life to you. If and only if you are connected to him. You cannot afford to be a source of income to these magicians. You cannot afford to be a source of income to astrologers. You cannot afford to be a source of income to stargazers. Because God is available. God is ready to reveal his mind to you. To reveal secrets to you. As from today, I pray that the Lord will guide you. He will lead you. You will not be a source of income to magicians again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our God is the custodian of all the mysteries and secrets. Our God is the custodian of all these mysteries and secrets. So when you know this God, when you are connected to him, then we are able to reveal them to you. Philippians chapter 3 verse 10. Philippians chapter 3 verse 10. Paul the Apostle has something there for us. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. When you know him, then you know that your tomorrow is guaranteed. I pray that the Almighty God will reveal to you the secrets of life. So in the journey of life, you will not be stranded. The prayer point for today says, Father, please count me worthy to have access to the secrets of life and the mysteries thereof so that I may no longer grow in darkness. That is a dynamic prayer point. Father, count me worthy to have access to the secrets of life and the mysteries thereof so that I may no longer grow in darkness. Anybody who cannot have access to the secrets of life will be a blind person and will be groping in the darkness. And if you ask such a person to come and lead others, of course, he will lead them to the pit. I pray that today the Lord will open your eyes. He will give you the grace to have access to the mysteries of life. In the mighty name of Jesus, to have access to the secrets of life and to mysteries thereof. I want us to pray. Heavenly Father, I want to say thank you. Because the Bible says the entrance of your word giveth light and it giveth understanding to the simple. We commit the seed that we have sown into our lives today into your hands. We pray that the seed will not only germinate, but it will bring forth fruit to the glory of your name. Please open our eyes, O God. Reveal to us the secrets of life. And don't allow any one of us to miss the mark today. As many as are listening to me right now, Father, please guide them today. Lead them in the name of Jesus. Before the end of today, you will surely have testimony to the glory of God. Thank you, faithful Father. We know you have answered us already. It is settled. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. We are expecting your testimonies to the glory of God, and you will surely hear my own testimonies. Thank you. God bless you. Amen.
Sing out. Let it 